Well, hello, people. It's I'm Biggie here. I'm back, and let's head to Leucemia. Uh, whoa, wait a minute. What's that? Oh, it's the Cancun bird, the one that um, whatever her name used to escape from us last time. But yeah, the Cancun bird's gonna be nice and take us all the way to uh, the giant dragon of Leucemia. I don't know why it doesn't take us to the head, but you know, wouldn't be a dungeon without one, I guess. Yeah, let's just head in. I think about Lucemia. Once you head in um, and you defeat the final boss, you cannot return here. So make sure to um, grab every single thing you can in this dungeon. Explore everything. So this video is going to be nice and long in comparison to some of my other vids. Maybe you go over, go to like the 30 minute mark. Anyways, yeah, the thing about Lucemia, it's basically a shell of a. Uh, like a kind of a, a Chinese dragon type looking creature. Well, kind of like a worm for Magic the Gathering, but um, yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, it's, it's massive actually. Oh, these guys are level 21. Replace the, the, um, make the placement of this, this thing quite late, so uh, should still have quite high level enemies. Uh, you'll notice that I brought Bud. Might be a, I might regret that. Uh, I also bought my Chocobo because his level is high. Yeah. Ow. Okay, I just pummel you. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and now we just head through here and into. More shell. Yes, yeah. There you go. That's the little hole that we have to enter. And the thing about Lucemia that disgusts me, really, really disgusts me, yeah, is the fact that this is the entire um, hull of the inside of this guy is filled with fungus. You know, if, if, you, have, if you guys, you know, have ever, like, walked around in a kind of like a moldy, mildewy area, yeah, um, Oh, this is a pathway. Let's go this way. Oh, sorry, folks. Wrong way. Let's head this way first to do the complete map. To complete the map. Anyways, as I was speaking earlier, uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, about that whole fungal, mudewy stuff. I mean, look at that. There's like um, all sorts of little bugs flying, spores flying around. You know, you know, you inhale some of that stuff, and you 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 get pretty pretty serious illnesses. So, I just got a mental barrier. This you guys out of the way, yeah. Okay, those strange noises. Anyway, yeah, but I mean, you you inhale just a little bit of this stuff, and you could get like infections and serious illnesses. And you could could you imagine like the entire inside of a carcass of a being filled to the brim with mildew and mold and spores and yeah it's not it's not gonna be a pleasant experience run, running through inside this place you know uh, uh, and you gotta wonder how long this guy's been underground I mean um, if he's been long in underground long enough the, all of this shouldn't have any mildew, mildew left inside it but um, should literally be a broken shell with hollow shell with, with nothing inside. But yeah. This mental barrier here. Oppa. Yeah. Just awesome damage. Grabby grab. Okay. You notice that also I'm wearing my forbidden ring so I don't over level. Hoo ha. Do, 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 do. Just bash into you. And uh, which way do we go? You know, we just keep going forward. Uh, it's pretty straightforward except for a couple of um, turns here and there. But otherwise, um, oh yeah. And uh, once in a while you meet up with Sevla. And he's gonna walk around going, say, you know, I was just toying with you. Yeah. 
you want to leave? And you say, well, uh, if I can't take this anymore, he'll just bring us uh, back to our house, I think. So I just keep saying that, yeah, I'm going to keep going. I don't care if he's toying with us. <laughs> oh, wait. It's a naughty snake. I like. I kind of like how the, the snake has an actual rattle on its tail. I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, you can see that? It's an actual proper baby rattle on its tail. But the, the enemies here are, are a bit uninspiring, really. And I messed up. Let's grab this. Wait. Yeah, this... Like, these guys aren't too hard now, but um, I'm at just about the right level to face the boss without too much difficulty. Yeah. You know, that's just a small little crack. Why can't I just walk over it? Oh well. Game design, I guess. Embracement of the Ancients. Nope, nothing on this direction, so yeah, I'll head this way. More snakes and... Is that a seahorse? Yep, looks like a new enemy. What the hell is a seahorse doing in a dragon carcass anyways? Ugh. Sometimes the logic of this game... Really weird. <laughs> yeah, Lucemia is quite useless for... Uh, for... Um, for map placement. So, if you place it nice and close to the house, then, um, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, sh I'll show you all the, the, a couple of vids from now, uh, why I placed the maps I did, what, what, what are the other factors that, that, that contributed to my map placement. And for now, let's keep going, it's Dragon's Blood, and which way is it? I think it is, uh, let's head this way first. Scorpions. And I used the wrong skill yet again. And I didn't catch any of it. You know, I always think bringing butt is a bad idea, but... Oh well. I might... I should have brought Dana. I maybe would have been more... Storyline approved. Yeah, there we go. Storyline approved? What the hell am I talking about? Ugh. Too much work, I guess? Hmm. Well. We just want to get the storyline over and done with. More snakes. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? I hate snakes. Well, technically, um, the thing I hate most are roaches. I absolutely despise roaches. So don't. So whenever I uh, play uh, Breath of Fire three, for example, I flinch whenever those giant roaches come over, come up on, on screen. On that matter, I also hate. Wonderful, bud. Just simply wonderful. <sighs> but yet again, interrupts my combo. It's probably be the last time I ever bring him, actually. Uh, if I have, well, I'll, I'll probably look into better partners than Bud now. Uh, Lisa. Lisa is like infinitely better than, more, like better than Bud, because she knows when to cast magic. I have no idea if that's the right way or not, but let's keep going. Up, 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 yeah. Ouch. Hmm. <laughs> And I'll just grab this. Or 
over here and I'll just <laughs> save state of distrust oh dear okay I'll, I'll head back first to check on that little area um, see if there's any anything um, I missed like a treasure chest or some monsters whatever if I remember but don't cast magic bud okay that's good now is a good time to cast magic yes uh, mm, what I remember vaguely is that uh, yeah there's nothing here there's nothing here at all actually um, sure, make sure. just gotta double check I don't think you can actually get any eggs here on leukemia so load state no prop up and there's Sebla yet again trying to discourage us yeah of course we can we can um is there anything this way this is actually the right way uh, who cares ow Baburuzu. Yeah, but doesn't cause too much damage with magic. Which is actually, it's quite a pity that I didn't level up my. Yeah, dead end. Wonderful. It's a pity that I didn't actually level up my magic a bit. Especially if I was making a run through with, with um, melee as a melee character. Then when I level up, then. I don't get a. When I level up, I don't get as much magic as I should, so. Even though I could show you some magic, it's not gonna be very effective. Ah, some skull and bones. You see, um, if, if I planned this out early, I could have made it a kind of a special run through with, like, um, focus on magic rather than our usual. Ah. Our usual focus on, like, something popular. Actually, um,. Using gloves is actually quite popular uh, for for run through of this, this game simply because the moves are, are spectacular. Yeah, I'm not showing off any moves, am I? Because uh, I don't really need to. It's even more boring if I use a spear, for example. I'm just gonna keep poking at it. Yeah, uh, and and I'm not. Um, convinced I want to use any um, moves anymore because when I use moves, Bud just casts magic in, into him. Yeah, look at that. <sighs> Bud is so unreliable with his magic, it's it's sickening. Uh, anything up here? Nope. Anything down here? Nope. Head through the blue mirror for some more time. Decayed Dignity. Messy scroll, whatever. Just let me check out my stats here. Um, 780, level 33. 780 XP left until I gain a level. So I still have to be very, very careful. Actually, like, you can't really over level in this game unless you play, uh, no future mode. No, under level. Yeah. You can't really under level in this game. It's pretty much impossible. The only time you do not over level is playing no future mode. There we go, that makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Uh, what's in this area here? More of these little ducky snail tail snail. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> And Bud, now you're going to miss all three of them, yeah. Wonderful, Bud. Just wonderful. And that is, folks, why... That is why, folks, I'm not using the super specials anymore. And look how useful the Chocobo is. Just look at how useful he is. Wonderful. Just goes around, walks around, pecking and 